Hello my queens. Welcome back. To yet another. Let's. Build. Bloody. Newcrest. Welcome. That was Lucy. Hello Lucy. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Welcome back. We are on the fourth part of the Mayflower Inn. We are finally going indoors. Inside. Into the interiors. Um, we're going to start with the basement area today. So the brewery area or brewery, wherever you may be from. Um, we'll get that done today. And we'll also concentrate on the main bar, like the first floor. If we get time, we'll go up to the mezzanine. But I don't think we're going to get time today because I want to cram this place with as much detail as we possibly can. I really do. Um, so let's get inside and I'll show you some things that I've changed around just a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Um, first things first, what have we changed on the outside? Once again, a little bit of lag there. Don't know what's going on. Um, I got rid of the shipping door, shipping door, the shipping container door here. It was just, it, I needed the space inside for seating and stuff. So I decided to use the new door, the new windows even, the kind of little like pivoting ones that we got with the eco lifestyle pack. Uh, and they look really cool. I really enjoy how they look. I really do. Um, thank you to all 7,000 of you that told me that this light was floating. And also that this plant was hanging off the balcony as well. Now, don't get... I love when you guys tell me that I've missed something or something's not right. It helps me a lot. So never feel afraid to. I think there's people out there thinking that I'm going to call them out. I'm doing it out of jest. I'm being kind with it. I'm not being an arsehole. Um, so thank you to all of you that let me know that. Um, a, a few of you said as well about this space not being good for people with skirts. So I've actually put a sign up there. So that sign means no pasty peeping. Okay, so you're not allowed to peep at pasties when they're walking across this glass flooring. I mean, if I had a pasty and people wanted to stare up and look at my pasty through the glass, then they may wish. I may even paint my pasty, squat down, do a potato print and carry that potato print all the way along for them just for the shits and giggles of it. But I haven't got a pasty, so I can't. So, so I won't. <laughs> um, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> Moving on. I've also put some plants here. I just thought they looked really cool. And it kind of makes sense, it being the glass there, that the light will be able to get through to make them grow. I've added a few of these as well. Again, sticking in with the Mayflower theme. Uh, I put one of them up on this area as well. And I also put a little boat there as well. Lovely, lovely. What else did I do? Oh, I put these up. So these are like plaques to... There was someone in the comments saying, why don't you put like plaques up by these? So like explaining how old they are and where they're from. I loved that idea. Thank you so much to that person. You're an absolute gemstone. Um, what else did we do? I'm just doing a quick scan. I added in these street lamps as well. So this place is properly up during the night, which is really cool. Um, I didn't think I did anything else much. I'm doing a scan. I also put a half wall in the disabled toilets. One of you guys said put them in and also use like the paper dispenser for the toilets. We did that. I added a toddler um, potty as well to the disabled toilet just in case. I also added some... Um, like pet drinking bowls they're supposed to be underneath this i someone mentioned this in a pub like that they've been to where they had a barrel and you'd like i've been to that i've been to loads of pubs that have that one of them being the jamaica inn i have built the jamaica inn on my channel one of my story builds um and they had that there i also put one out the front in the uk i don't know if it's like the same everywhere else but this is kind of the sign that is dog friendly. <laughs> they normally say as well, like pets are allowed in here on leads and stuff. But usually there's always a dog bowl out the front just to kind of like make it look like, oh yeah, cool. So pets are allowed in this place. Um, What else did we do? We I went down to the basement level and just made it a bit bigger as well. We're going to be starting here today. And this area here, I thought would be the perfect place to sell the produce. I can see you creeping in there. Don't think I didn't fucking see you, darling. I saw you. I saw you creeping in like there was no tomorrow, didn't I? Caught you though. Um, talking to plants. Once again, I'm so glad that a lot of you out there talk to your plants as well. I don't feel so alone now. I put these on top here, but I really don't want to use them now. Just the graphics on them. 
I know they're like like the first things that were in base game, like these objects, and they just don't look good today. So we're not going to do that. Um, what else did I do? Did I do anything else? Did I? Uh, I also mapped out the area where we're going to put the store cupboard um, for like all of the wedding stuff. Like you could just pull out and put into your game so you don't have to buy it. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I think I just put a few more of these spandrels up around this area. I also put another fireplace of dreams up at this level because it's only right that we get two fireplaces of dreams in this place. Um, I think that's it. I also obviously added these like little ivy wall dividers just to the ends of the seating area here, which I love. Um, but I think that's it. I think that's what we kind of rectified from last time. Yeah, I do. I think that's it, my darlings. I don't know if I missed anything. Oh, I also put these vents in the toilets as well on the inside and outside just to take out those poo fumes or whatever, you know. But yeah, okay. Right, let's get bloody started, my darling, shall we? I hope you are all well today. Thank you so much for your comments once again. Like, your comments are just uh, one of the things that keep me going. <laughs> they really do. They like they honestly do. They just make me want to create more and more. And I love hearing from you guys. We've got such a bloody amazing community here, I think. Like, and it's all down to you lot. You lot are amazing. You really are. I think maybe using... I don't think I'm going to do a brick wall down here. I think I'm going to do a wooden, uh, like, yeah, like like a wooden panelled wall, maybe. Um, what cut? I know. Oh, they're, so, oh, no, that's okay, actually. Oh, yeah, that fits. Let's get the grid off so we're not... Yeah, we'll get this here. Not that you're going to see them, but I don't want it to look like the original wall down here. Uh, and then I'm going to use the modern windows from maybe the new pack. Um, yes, I do believe so. God, these windows are gorgeous. Um, we'll do a door in the middle and then these here. So this is going to be like a viewing area where people can come and watch the process of this getting done. I love that idea. I really, really do. Really do. Maybe I could use this. Um, It is shorter, but I quite like it. Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll do that. Oh, and what I'm going to do just at the top, if it allows me, I don't know if it will allow me, it's, oh, no, I don't think it will. No, I'm looking at it. Excuse you. I just want that bit there. The chef's signature sign. Um, Just above the door. Will you allow that if I whiffle you down a bit, my love? Um, My phone just went off then. I thought someone was going to be calling me. I'm supposed to be going in for a bike ride today with my best friend. But it is pissing down in the UK. I just took Blue out for a... Well, not in the whole of the UK. Just in where I am. Um, Yeah, I just took Blue out for a walk. And I love walking in the rain. I don't know, like so many people hate the rain. And I think it's like a you kind of get climatized to it wherever you're from. Obviously, I'm from the UK, so I am quite climatized to the rain. Uh, so I love walking in it. I really do. Um, yeah. Right, I'm going to have a little think here. I, I do want to pull out some good objects and see what we can start sort of putting in here. Okay, so my thought process was maybe getting in another one i know there doesn't need to be three down here but you don't know how successful they are with their with their fizzing so i'm going to get three down here and i've done these here just to act as like storage units where they would maybe put their produce and sort of get them from these cupboards and i'm thinking of just about just detailing it up with some boxes i know that we came i know that the pack came with those like just cardboard boxes do they have like a beer print or anything on them? No, they've got a trash. They've got a trash one, which is a mood, to be honest. Um, What could we put on there? Nothing really. Maybe we'll just do the plants. What I could do is just stack these up. Let's size your dune, my love. Stack you on top. Is that floating? Oh, no, it's not. Bloody hell. Are you feeling okay, Sims? Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. And maybe these can be like shipped out to shops. Maybe they also sell their produce out of um, the actual pub itself. I mean, it is slightly floating, but we'll just pretend that it's not. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. I do. And I think what we'll do is put some of those like, uh, like non-slip mats down. Just in case like, you know, someone could go ass of a tit in here. Unless they've got a non-stick mat down. So that is what we're going to do here. 
Uh, maybe I'll do... I'll plonk you here. You there as well, my love. And you there. And maybe we could add a few of those grates in here as well, just in case of... Like, they might need to, like, clean or something. So they can just mop this whole area down here and it will go straight into the drainage. Oh, I like that idea. I do. I very much do. I mean, yeah, this is giving me the vibe that I wanted. Um, I think what I'll do on the outside here is put, like, a little seating area where they could, like, do taste tests or something with some... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. I'm excited about that. Yes, let's do this. Oh, yes, this would fit down here. This would. Maybe if I do it in this kind of orientation. Around about... Will I be able to get two in? Maybe if I whiffle it into the corner somewhat. So they could, like, take a little seat down here. Watch the process being done. And then... I could do two of those coffee tables. Oh, I don't think we're going to get a matching wood. It doesn't really matter so much, really. I could do two of these here. Like so. And then what I'll put on these are those... Um, like iced tea drink things that I've used to death because I love that object. I wish we had more stuff like this. Like the little summer trays, you know. I would like to see that. Um... Right, like so, and like so there as well. Oh, well, we'll save it while we're here. We may as well. We're here. We're saving. You take your time, darling. Yes, I kind of like that. Okay. And then I think above the chairs at the back here, I'm going to use this, but size it up maybe and put it smack bang in the middle. Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. And then on this area over here, I might just use the uh, shelves that I put upstairs for the selling point things. I think that might look very cute. Yeah, it was this one and it was in the brown. And we could put all of the... Oh, can I get two in here? I Hopefully I can without it creeping into the glass too much. Definitely not. So I'll put it in this orientation instead. Lovely. There we go. Stunning. Yes. And then once I've got some honey and stuff going and some bottles fizzed up, um, I'll plonk them up on here. Yes, I like that idea. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I think I'm kind of happy with this area. Nothing too, like, over-detailed. Just, just bits and bobs around that kind of make a bit of sense. And I like that. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, that's the brewery sorted isn't it up we go so we're gonna crack on with the main area okay so into the main bar area so you can see i've chose some like nautical kind of themed uh ceiling lamps i also did some up here but i hung them over the balcony area just again to bring in that theme that we're all going for i also pulled out this here um this is the selling kiosk that we got with uh the eco lifestyle one i think it was just I don't know if it would fit better in here than this one. Let's have a look at them side by side. I think that's the best swatch for it. Um, I'm kind... Excuse me. I'm kind of feeling the vibe from this one here more, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. I am. I'm going to stick with the original that we had. I really am. Uh, so, what I obviously did here, I did this off of camera... When I finished yesterday, I kind of made this bar area a bit wider. Used the um, uh, get-together kind of back bar bit. Obviously, I had to size it down because this is a short height. And I hid the mirrors in the actual wall. And they don't glitch out from anywhere. So, it looks kind of fine, actually. I don't mind that. I also used this. Um, oh, I wonder if I could put a couple of these downstairs just to throw a bit of more extra detail in. I wonder if I could do that. Maybe I can just do them in the corners here. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, that doesn't... Well, we'll put it in that orientation. We'll put it in that orientation. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll do it the same here as well. And just whiffle this along a little bit more. So it's not up against that window there. Yeah, that's cute. I mean, that would be a pain in the ass to go and get them out of there. But this is The Sims. <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Okay, I think first things first is we'll pick the bar stools for this area. Um, I love this bar. I forget what bar that this one came from. It came from university, which is lovely. I love like the stained glass piece at the top and stuff. It's just, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so bar stools. Um, definitely something to be, yeah, something like this would look great in here. Oh, that swatch isn't too bad. It's a lighter wood, but I don't actually hate that at all. Not at all. I really do. Oh, I like that. I do. I hope. Hopefully, that's got a different coloured seat because I would love to see that one in a with a white seat, maybe. If you would, do you fancy it? No. No. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Don't want to. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll go for that one. I think this bar seat would. Yeah, the bar stool would definitely fit with the aesthetics that we're going to go for. Oh, I like that. I do. I very much do. Okay. So. Hmm. Do I want to put a rug here? I may do. I may put a rug there, but we're not going to think about that just yet. I think here, I'm going to do dining tables. I don't, I'm unsure what dining. I wish we had these in smaller sizes. They would look so lovely in here. Oh, such a shame. I mean, we have got the circular ones that we used outside. I could use them in here. I could actually use them in here. I could use them. I like that one. Yeah, fuck it. We're using it. We are. Right, I'm going to flop you to there. In fact, I am going to try and get four chairs around them. Do we want to use those same chairs from outside in here? No, I want to go a bit more wooden, I think. Uh, let's find the perfect chair, shall we? I might do this off of camera because it might take me quite a while. So I decided to go to, for these chairs from Get Together. I, I like how they look with everything in here, especially how they look with the bar stools. I think they match in quite well. Um, I had to go for three chairs here because the fourth chair in here was just blocking this flow through. And the spatial awareness was just not there for me, darling. So I didn't. Um, once again, I hate the fact that with all of these bay windows and... Ample amount of space. There's no slots on them. And it makes me want to slap a guru. <laughs> I would never slap a guru, by the way. I love you so much. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to just whiffle something up to it, maybe. That's if things don't go. Oh, that looks stunning. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Right, we're going to do that. I could use the bigger tables here. I really could. We need to put a TV. I was thinking about putting the TV up here. It needs... The only thing left to have is a TV, a television. So I think we'll put the television around here somewhere. I think that might be a, a good idea. I am going to put another one of these up in this bay window as well before we start. So up you come, darling. I'm going to flop you in there like so. Um, Do I want it to have outside lighting on it? I think we will. Oh, that one's floating. How very dare you. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to try and get that table in. Is it that swatch? It is. So if, maybe I could just do one here, actually. Because we'll, we can add a few more seats, like, around here. I might put, like, a table here and put some chairs there. And maybe a couple more down this way. So you can kind of see the food being cooked. So many people were saying you don't need to add a door here because this is like a pass through, and I I know that. Um, but I wanted uh ex I wanted an entrance from there anyway. We definitely need one on the back though, just in case of any like fire. Um, which is a shame because they can't get out because there's too much detail there, and I'm not changing it. So my Sims will be burning to death. Apologies, apologies to my Sims. <laughs> So yeah, I'll definitely use that table. I like it. I do, I like it. I do, I do. Oh, I do. I bloody do. Uh, and we'll put six of these in. Oh, will Sims be able to... They're not going to be able to get down there, are they? God, they're such fussy bitches, aren't they? Oh, that looks so lovely like that as well. They're not going to be able to get down there. Not in the... Not in the slightest. So I will have to maybe just push this up like... Oh, I really don't want to do that. 
I don't want to do it. And I don't want to widen anything either. Oh, maybe we can't use that tape. Maybe we can use that table upstairs and just do the smaller ones downstairs. Free items moved to household infantry. Shut up. You absolute moronic bug. I'm not here for it. Um, we're going to do two of these instead here. Which isn't bad. I don't mind that. Don't mind it, but I... Now that I know I can use that bigger table upstairs, it's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all in the slightest. Right, let's whiffle this around. Let me just get in a bit of... Uh, will they be able to get through there? They should be able to. And if they are going to be a fuss-ass about it, then they can find another bar to drink in, can't they? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I like that. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we'll put a TV up on this wall here. So maybe just use that small, uh, like this one, in a dark colour. Uh, this would be where sports would play, wouldn't it? Ugh. I just don't get it. I do not get the playing of sports. <laughs> uh, just, it's just not for me. It's just not for me, sweetie. Um, especially football, that can go to hell, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to whiffle these along here, and I'm going to see if we can space this out nicely. That looks weird. If I put another chair on that side, it won't look so weird. Oh, they're not going to be able to get down there, are they? Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you do get, you do have to squeeze through a lot of the bars that I go to as well. You really do. Two items moved. Right, we need to remember not to delete stuff for the minute and just bang them out with your hammer. Or what, what do they call that? A sledgehammer. Okay. Um, Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? Oh, this is giving me the vibe. It's giving me the vibe, my loves. Right, and then I'm going to flop this on the inside as well. We're going to put a little coat hook here as well. Um, I might put the... Oh, we need a couple of armchairs. Do we? I mean, it would be nice. Nah, do you know what? This is just for the whole pub. It just heats out the whole pub. Um, so what I am going to do is do that little... I always forget where that coat hook is. I know it's base game, but I always forget where it is. Is it in sculptures? Is it in bloody clutter? Where are you? I'm fed up with looking for you. I really am. It was in clutter. It's in clutter. I, I will forget that the next time, but it is in clutter. So I'll put that there just next to the fireplace of dreams. So we can, um, so they can dry off their bits and bobs when they come in the door. What I will put here, just in case we've got any elder patrons, is a little, a little poof or a little stool for them to sit on in case they want to take off their muddy wellies or something, which happens a lot as well in the bars in Devon, like in the pubs in Devon. Like people will come in from walks on the malls and stuff and they've got like shoehorns and stuff at the door where you can take your wellies off and go barefoot <laughs> in the bar. Sounds a bit weird, but it's just what we do. We are weird. We are weird, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's cute. I do enjoy that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a few of those menu things from the outdoors and put them on the tables all around stunning stunning no you're not a table my love you are a stool we will not be putting it on you because that would be weird and we'll do a few at the bar as well because sometimes like pubs do just bar snacks and bar food and not necessarily full restaurant stuff um i will go in and change the venue as well and make sure that we've got everything we can for a restaurant let me just see what we need what we need we need a waiter station and a host station oh yeah shit the sheets i've got all about you well i could pop the waiter station here which is good let me get everything from dine out if you would let's flop everything from dine out here so if you wanted to change the venues um through build menu you can and you can swap it into a restaurant the choice is yours the possibilities are absolutely endless my loves uh, that is a waiter station there we'll get you in the darkest wood Yep, that would be perfect there. Oh yes, that would be absolutely stunning there, to be honest. And then a little waiter, a little host station, maybe just around the bar area here. Oh yes. Oh, 
God, yes. So we've got everything we need to make it a restaurant as well. I'll flip it back to a bar, though. Just because it is going to be a bar in my game. But the opp the opportunities are endless, as I did say, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> going to get some of these candles on as well. We'll get some photos up on this wall, too. I might actually use a few of the ones from... I think... I can't remember what they're from. One with the, like, odour pictures. What were they from? Oh, I don't know. Let me find them. I know that we've got them. Well, there they are. Uh, they're from Get Together. I love... The, I absolutely love these. I think they're so lovely. I wish they came in more, like, variations. There's only kind of four swatches, I think. Um, yeah, four swatches where the actual photos change. Uh, I plonked one over here. And I also pulled out this from University as well. Let's pull you down a bit. And this here, just to act as this is like a, a bar award for their for their ciders that they make. Um, cider is a very big part of the culture in um, Devon. Like Devon make amazing ciders. And um, so I've been told I can't drink cider because it literally makes me want to puke. Main reasons being I used to drink cider underage. I'm not um, condoning underage drinking, by the way. But I, I just can't touch it now. It ma it literally makes me gag. Just the smell of cider. Oh, I cannot. Oh, that would look okay, actually, here. Maybe I'll just put it under the bar stools. Yeah, we'll do it there. Nice sticky bar mat for, <laughs> for under the bar stools. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I think the only thing missing down here is music. So what I might do is I might whiffle this table a bit further this way and put a jukebox here. I think that might be a good, a good shout. I always hate the graphics on this now that the graphics in the game have like um, improved. But I love that object. We need another jukebox. I'd love. Ah, oh, we have. I always forget about you, my darling. It's because you're 90 foot fucking wide, isn't it? It really is because you're that big. That is why I tend to forget about you. What about if I size you down? I mean, it's not bad, but the aesthetics are just all wrong in this place with that. No, we can't do it. Yeah, we can't do it. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. Not in the slightest. Right. One thing we do need uh, more of those grip mats. I'm going to put a few behind the bar here. We'll move that hatch and put it here. Has anybody ever seen that video of that woman? It's like CCTV footage of that woman in that pub where somebody opened the latch and she stepped back and oh, fucking went flying. I won't lie. I did laugh because I'm only human and that is hilarious. <laughs> But bloody hell, it looked like she hurt herself, didn't it? Oh, did it just. Right, okay. Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. So we need a nice fridge. Something that looks a bit more commercial. I always whistle. I notice when I'm editing, when I'm saying something, I sound like the beaver from Winnie the Pooh. And it is not for me. <laughs> so I apologise if that annoys anybody. So sorry about it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we'll just use that in here. Doesn't look commercial, but it kind of fits in with the aesthetics, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, mm, sorry, I'm clicking my neck. I do know. Apologies. Uh, we'll get a couple of these in here as well, just behind this area here. Here and here. Lovely. And then up behind there. Let me get dine out. out. Let me sh show me the dine out stuff, my love. Flop the dine out stuff in front of me and show me what you're made of. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> I'm not singing. <laughs> I was just about to sing again. I keep just wanting to sing. I do. We're going to size you down because you are such a good object, especially for commercial kitchens. I absolutely love using you. I love you. Okay. I love you. I love you being here. And I think I'll use one of these in here as well, but the size that down as well. Just in case, you know. You never know when you need need mead. Do you? Oh, we need a dishwasher. Definitely need a dishwasher in this gaff. Uh oh, and a sink. So maybe I'll get rid of you. <laughs> I'll get rid of you. And we'll use these countertops maybe in here. Yeah. 
We'll use these in here. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. We do need a bin. Definitely need a bin in here. I'll put the bin. Oh, I know we don't need a fridge, but I like having a fridge in my kitchens, uh, even if they are commercial. Uh, I know that I knew. I just know somebody was going to say that. But I appreciate your help. I always appreciate your help. I never feel scared about me like making a joke out of you guys being nitpicky because I'm nitpicky too. I understand. When I watch people build, I'm like, oh no, I wouldn't do that there. But it's their style of like building, isn't it? You just gotta you gotta let that kind of shit go and just let them do what they want. Um, they don't need surfaces to cook on. They've got a sink there. What were we going to be getting here? Um, I've gone blank. I won't lie to you. I literally was just staring at the screen for five minutes then. Like, what was I going to be putting here? I'm quite worried. <laughs> I am literally quite worried. We were going to be putting a dishwasher in, weren't we? Fucking hell. <laughs> literally five minutes. I was like, really? Aiden, what? I was literally going to stop the recording and go back and listen to what I said because I was that. <laughs> I'd forgot that badly. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Moving on. Um, right, here we are going to put some pots and pans on the wall. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe use these in the copper. Oh, I love copper pans. Fucking love them. I just love you. <laughs> I do. I really want some, but there's no point because I've got an induction hob in my kitchen. Can you get you must be able to get copper induction pans and stuff. Really. Can, can you? Can someone answer me out there, out there with that? I could easily go and look and see on the in, on the interwebs. But I don't know. I'd like, I'd, I reckon, I reckon you must be able to. You must be able to. And if you can't, there is a gap in the market, isn't there? Right, let's get some herbs. Chirps. Get some chirps down here, my spitter. All right, we'll flop a few chirps around there. Lovely. A few chirps. Just a just a couple of chirps. Right, I'm not going <laughs> to carry on with that. <laughs> Where was that flowery thing from? Was it from Realm of Magic? It was. More chirps. Chirps. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to carry on and I just carried on. Yeah, just a few more chirps. Right. Lovely. Oh, I like it. I like it as it is, to be honest. Need vents. We need vents in here to take out all of the cookie smell. Cookie smells? The cooking smells. Oh, we wouldn't do that there. Oh, no, there's no table there. Yeah, we'll do it here. In fact, we're going to do it there. We're going to do it here. Right above. Yep, yeah, that is fine. An extractor just to get out all of the smelly bits from the... Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with how this looks in here. In fact, I really like it. It's cute. Let's have a little look to see what it's going to look like with the... Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. I honestly do. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I wish those were hanging lower, but I don't really... We can't be too fussy. We can't be too fussy. Oh, lovely. Do you know what they need in here, though? Some plants. They really need some plants in. So I'm going to go around and just pop a couple of plants around everywhere, I think. There we go. Just with a little splash of green. Just with a little splash of green everywhere. It's just, yeah, that's made me a happy, happy person. I really don't like that that small. I keep, I keep looking at it. It keeps catching my eye. I'm going to pop you there instead now, darling. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's much better. I do enjoy that now. Yes. 
Okay, right, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to go into the mezzanine level. So this is another area where they can come and drink. But I do want to do some bigger tables up here. And we've got room for it, which is perfect. This is coming together swimmingly. Swimmingly. Um, yeah, that was the right swatch, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, what orientation do we want to do this in? We could do like a medieval looking like layout, like a banquet hall kind of feel. Um, or we could... I don't know. I kind of liked that. We could just do two tables up here instead of three. And then I could just... Yeah, let's do it that way. That's better. It's better for space. Better for space, I'll be sweaty. Sweater, darling. <laughs> um, and then get these chairs up here as well. Oh, right next to the fireplace of dreams. You've got a lovely spot, whoever sits there. Oh, they bloody have. You watch. If When this is a restaurant, two Sims will be sat at these. I, wish, I really wish you saw... Well, I really wish that the dine-out pack worked in general, to be honest. But um, actually, I'm going to take those chairs away. I'm going to take them away. Oh, I like that. And we've got room for big plants up here. We've got room for some big boys. We've always got room for big boys. <laughs> Carrying on without the filth. As if I can carry on without filth. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Right, we'll get a few of these up here as well. Lovely. Oh, yes. Yes, queen. And I think I'm going to put some window boxes on the indoors. If they look okay. Do you like... No, the shadow goes... Oh, no, it's not too bad. It's uh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll add a few of them around. Yes. I'm not going to put any over there, though, because nobody would be able to get to water them, would they? Yeah, we'll do that. And shall I, like, central these lights over the tables? I think I will. I think I will. I think I shall. And I'll put that, another one there in the middle. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to wall that in. And I'm going to put a lovely little spandrel on that as well. Oh, that absolutely made no difference apart from that up in the corner there. But I am one happy bunny. <laughs> Literally no difference there, was there? <laughs> Not in the slightest, my love. Not in the slightest. Do you know what I'm going to add under here? It doesn't make sense because it is... But I'm going to put them there. And I'm going to put a light there as well. Let's put some lights underneath the uh, stairs. Nautical themed. Let's trial you out. Oh, stunning. Oh, that's gorgeous. In fact, let's do two. I'm going to do two. I'm going to slip one. You will let me put it where I... My, I had a brain fart then. You will let me put you where I wish to put you. You little shit. Get under there. Go on. Eh. There we go. Maybe just do two like... Is that equal? It is now. I don't like... I, I do like it in that colour. Why am I arguing with myself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's brought life over there now. Absolutely stunning. Right. And then here, I was going to put some nice big leafy plants in. Um, maybe we could go for the base game. Oh, oh, you look nice in here. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll put a couple of these in. I'll put one there and then I'll change the orientation of that one and put one in there as well. And I'm going to add some nautical themes in here. So I'm going to get a few of those. Um, I can see you. I can get a few of these in. So we'll pop one just in the middle here. Let me size that down, actually. Yeah, we'll do that one there. Can we do another one? I mean, I can put the... Uh, maybe I'll do that there, actually. And just add in the ship one. Shh. See, once again, I'm whistling. I'm going to add in the ship one onto that area. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I am absolutely here for it. Right, I'm going to do what I did 
downstairs here and add a few more of these corbels in up here as well, I think. I think we'll actually place one there. Can I put you there? Oh, I can put you there, though. Eh. No, you don't look right there, darling. I'm going to put you there, though. Oh, you look gorgeous there. Maybe I can do something a bit better with that corbel that was, like, non-existent here. Yes, we can. Oh, we can, my loves. You bet your tits we can. And then I'm going to maybe just add a few of these. One into the corner. Uh, we'll just put you there at default. And then I'll balance it out in the middle there as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, I do enjoy that. And then we'll get the little feety wipey mats. <laughs> and plonk three across here. Yeah, like so. I mean, they're not going to use these, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, what can we do here that's looking a bit bare there? I think maybe put a plant. Um, Maybe you? Oh, maybe you. Maybe just a little orange tree. Just a cheeky little orange tree there. Or citrus, whatever it is. Don't know what it is, but it's going there. Yes. Oh, I'm happy with this. Oh, that looks so cute up here. They're not going to have any music up here, are they? So I'm going to put in a speaker above it. Just uh, just above. Just above. In a brown. Just up here. Just in case they want to have some music up here as well. And obviously this is looking fine. Like here. I might put a rug here, actually. I might actually put a rug here. Like one of these. Oh, yes. Maybe like what other tones do you come in? This brown is always like really ashy. And I detest ashy browns. Um. Oh, that's the warmest we can go, really. So, yeah, we'll have that one. Maybe should I put it like this? No, we'll keep it like that under there. Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And as I said, I'll fill this up as well with produce. So you sims can buy them. Maybe I'll plonk a little... Where's that? That dine out's got a little photo of a... Like a bottle of wine. Yeah, one of these. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. I very much am. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we're here. We may as well go up to the last bit. We'll go up to the function room as well and do the function room today. And that's probably the end of this. Yeah, it is. It's the... How the hell did I get the interior done in, like, kind of one part? This might go on a bit longer than normal. Um, But how the hell did that happen? This is me we're talking about here. Like, what is that about? Um, let me get some bits and pull some bits out and we'll start furnishing this place as well. Okay, so here we are. I've put the curtains from Island Living up on the windows. I just think they look really nice in this part. So I'm going to go about this as it would be a wedding party. So I think like two kind of big tables kind of pushed together in this kind of fashion around this bit here. Um, chair-wise, I'm probably going to use the kind of, um, these ones. <laughs> um, um, oh, oh, maybe we could go really rustic. <gasps> yes, let's do that. Yes, we're going to go rustic with this place. A rustic wedding. I would love a rustic wedding. I wouldn't lie. So maybe we can do it in that kind of fashion. Now, do we have, like, confetti that looks like white petals? Because I would imagine lots of white petals going down here. And what about table decorations? Um, I mean, they're quite pretty. I mean, this is more rustic. But I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this vibe. If I can go for just pure white, yes. Okay, so we'll do one, two. We'll have a candle moment in the middle. One, two. I'm going to spin these around so they don't look 
like exact copies of each other. So I'll do it that way. Yep, stunning. Lovely. Yes. You to there, you to there. You to there, you to there, you to there, and you to there. Oh, stunning. Um, and the candles in the middle, maybe just using the ones that are in like the old bottles. Uh, from the vampire pack. Um, where are you? Oh, I could use these actually. Oh, they're bloody massive. Look at the size of them. I mean, I could use the ones that you could make, but... No, I'm going to use these. I'm going to stick them in the middle. Stunning. And I'm going to just orientate these a little bit differently to that way so they don't look... Oh, I love that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's very nice. Now, I can't remember if we have got the... Oh, going in the wrong one. The petals on the floor. Um, Let me see if I can find them. Found them. That literally took two minutes. <laughs> Not even two minutes, like 20 seconds. So we have got them. So maybe I'll just put them and overlap them just underneath the table area. Some decorations. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm going to use a few more of those, like, lanterns up here, I think. I'll put a few more of these lanterns around just to give it a nice little glow about the place. Oh, stunning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. We got obviously got the little DJ booth out as well. Um, Kind of living for that, to be honest. Um, We'll put a few of these at the back here too. Should we do three? Yeah, we'll do three. Mm, we could do four. Just to balance it out a little bit. That is lower. I do... I do know. So we'll move that up. Go away. Let's get you up, darling. Yes. And then what I'm going to do here is put a dance floor in front of the... In front of the... Uh, DJ booth. Little, Just a little mini one. Oh, yeah. Maybe in you. Oh, yes. But not in that colour. Do you come in a better tone? I really hope that you do. Um, That's a bit warm. Oh, there we go. That's better. Little dance floor there. And then where are those buffet things? Are they called buffets? Let's see if they're called buffet. Timeless buffet, timber buffet, bu accent table. You're not an accent table. What are they called? Food. Food in bars. <laughs> no, but they are maybe in this area then. Why are they in this? I'm going to find them. Oh, this right there. It's right here. Didn't even need to go. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, I'll do them in white. So we'll do one of these here. I mean, they could get cooked for, like, it's got a full kitchen up here. But just for this purpose, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, keep it in that way. Now, I am going to put a bar up here as well, but I'm a bit worried that they're going to come up and start staffing this. Um, and I don't want that to happen. But just for this purpose, we're going to use... Oh, I love this bar. It's so lovely. But I just... The swatches are okay. I just wish it came in more swatches. And none of the swatches are going to really match in well up here. I mean, that's not too bad. It kind of matches in with the palette of everything else. The best that it can, anyway. So I think we'll use that. Maybe I could put the bar in that orientation and move this to there. I won't put any bar stools there, though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. Okay. Feeling it. Owning it. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. I kind of think that's all you would need, really. For a little soiree. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Yeah, okay. And then in here, we're going to put some things down to kind of act that like you could pull out. I'm unsure what we're going to put in there yet. We'll find out. I might just go off camera actually quickly and pull out a few bits. Okay, well, we're done with the storeroom as well. I've pulled out objects. Yeah, their sims are not going to be able to get in it. But if you go into build mode and say you've got a kid's party, you've got, got your little slide, a little puppet show as well. Or you have a teen party or something. I've got you some beer pong. I've also got out some presents. Just in case you want to put them down and your guests can like pretend that the, I don't know, wedding gifts or something. And some musical instruments as well. And also a dartboard for some reason. I don't know why. But 
I don't know. I think it's kind of done here. I think we are kind of finished, my loves. Yes. The Mayflower Inn is complete. Oh, well, isn't that fantastic? We're going to have a little tour around before we end now. So obviously this is the front facade. I do enjoy how it looks. I do. Into the main bar area first. So you walk into the main bar area. You can get seated if you if it's a restaurant or whatnot. Little fireplace of dreams. We've got a lovely big bar area with some seating in all of these places. Lovely, stunning, stunning. Um, with obviously a big mezzanine level up into the top floor. Um, we have obviously got a kitchen area. If you do make this into a restaurant, we have got access out to the back. It's got a lovely canopy area underneath here. So you can sit out here in the rain if you may wish. Um, or you can come straight in through this way. These are obviously where all the toilets are. Um, that is the passive viewing platform right there. We have got the back gate garden area. I'm not enjoying how this stage is kind of... I'm going to put some bushes behind here, actually. I'll do that before I put it up in the gallery. Um, this is like the little picnic barbecue area. Um, kids play area as well. So the kids have got their little bit. Stunning, stunning, stunning. We've got the decking area out here where your patrons can come and sit out and enjoy the view of whatever they may wish to look at, including pasties. Um, we have also got the downstairs brewery where we can get the sims to pretend that they're making their own produce and stuff what they do sell on this lot stunning there's a floating curtain there she looks wonderful um i'm going to make this lot as well haunted i do think that having that history factor to this i think that will kind of make yeah i think that would be a bit fun and um, we'll go down we'll go in this way let's just go through the walls um up the stairs here up the stairs onto the mezzanine area so this is a bigger area where your sims can come up and eat their food or drink their drinks whatever they may wish to do and then again there's access out onto that area there this is where the sims obviously sell their produce and this is where the sims grow their produce which is stunning i'll make sure to get some stuff growing as well before I, before, before i put it up in the gallery i think that would kind of make sense and then upstairs into the private kind of function room where your sims can hire it out for their weddings birthdays what have you but it's got everything that you may wish and need up there, to be honest. Yes, it's done. I do prefer it in this light. I just think this light looks nice with the Mayflower in. So this is going to be up on the gallery. As always, my origin ID is Devon Bumpkin, all one word. Make sure you've got the move objects on cheat before you place any of my builds down into your game. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Uh, as always, leave me some lovely comments in the comment box below, my friends. And I will try and answer everyone as I can. Uh, they might, I might get to them a bit later tonight because I'm actually going to visit a friend in their garden. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with a special video. I think you guys can guess what that special video is going to be, but it is on its way. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.